the glow of twilight and the echoes of laughter, we celebrate the splendor of this college day evening where memories are etched in hearts and dreams take flight. Good evening to each of you and a heartfelt students, proud parents, distinguished faculty and honored guests of the KMC College Day and Award Ceremony 2023-24. Since its inception, Kasurba Medical College Manipal has been a beacon of unwavering dedication to medical excellence, consistently setting benchmarks in healthcare education, patient care, and transformative research. Today, as we gather here, we and students a testament to the relentless pursuit of excellence that defines KMC Manipal. College Day is not merely an event. It's a celebration of our shared commitment to innovation, compassion, and academic brilliance. I, Dr. Sushma Prabhat, Associate Professor, Department of Anatomy, am privileged to be the master of ceremony for today's proceedings, guiding you through this evening's enchanting journey. Let us commence our program by invoking the blessings of the Almighty. I request everyone to remain seated as we invite Dr. Shyamala Ji, Professor, Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology, KMC Manipal, to render the invocation. Thank you, Madam, for your soul-stirring rendition. With immense honor, I invite Dr. Padmaraj Hegde, Dean of Kasturba Medical College, Manipal, accompanied by our Associate Deans, Dr. Krishnananda Prabhu, Dr. Kantilata Pai, Dr. Anil K. Bhatt, and Dr. Naveen Salins to escort the dignitaries to the days. Today, we are privileged to host distinguished guests, including the Chief Guest, Mr. Harish Shah, trustee of the Harish and Bina Shah Foundation, Mumbai. Dr. H.S. Ballal, Honorable Pro-Chancellor of Mahe, Manipal. Lieutenant General Dr. M.D. Venkatesh, Honorable Vice-Chancellor of Mahe. Dr. Sharad K. Rao, Pro-Vice-Chancellor of Health Sciences, Mahe. And Dr. Avinash Shetty, Medical Superintendent, Kasurba Hospital, Manipal. I also welcome Mr. Ayushman Kashyap, President of the Student Council to join our esteemed dignitaries on the stage. Let us now pay homage to our visionary founder, 
लेट डॉक्टर तोन से माधवा अनंत पाई अफेक्शनेटली नोन एज डॉक्टर टी एम ए पाई हुज लीडरशिप हैज प्रोपेल्ड एज टू अनपैरल हाइट्स दिस ईयर वी प्राउडली कमेमरेट डॉक्टर टी एम ए पाईज वन ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ बर्थ एनिवर्सरी thank you sirs and madam our institution has flourished over the years recently on november 20th 2023 we celebrated the platinum jubilee reflecting on 70 glorious years of kmc manipal's journey reminiscing on this may i now invite dr padmaraj hegde respected dean of kasturba medical college manipal to extend a warm welcome to our distinguished guests gathering and share highlights from the institution's annual report very good evening i stand before you today with the immense joy and pride as we gather here to celebrate the college day and the awards day of kasturba medical college manipal The journey started on 30th June 1953 when great visionary Dr. T. M. Pai opened this Kasturba Medical College, and the legacy is continued by Dr. Ramdas M. Pai and Dr. Ranjan Pai. Today, we are the beneficiaries of the foresight of our founder, 70 years of dedication, devotion, commitment, and service to community. is a reflection upon the remarkable and incredible journey that has brought us to this moment today as we commemorate the past we also envision an inspiring future built up on the solid foundation those uh, laid who came before us with this preamble i would like to graciously welcome the chief guests of this evening mr harish shah an alumnus of mit and trustee of the harish and bina shah foundation <laughs> harish and bina foundation provides financial and advisory support to more than 50 non profit organization in india and working on issues ranging from healthcare education sanitation gender governance and others more about him will be known during the introduction hearty welcome to mrs bina shah madam very well hearty welcome to you our heart, heartfelt welcome to pro chancellor dr hs ballal the pillar of strength and charismatic personality and also i welcome mrs indira ballal affectionate welcome to vice chancellor lieutenant general dr mb venkatesh Graceful welcome to Dr. Sharad Rao, Provost of Health Sciences. Dr. Avinash Shetty, the Medical Superintendent of Kasturba Hospital, a gracious welcome to you, sir. I also welcome Mr. Anshuman Kashyap, the President of the Student Council. I also recognize the presence of Dr. P. L. N. J. Rao, Dr. Dilip Nayak. Dr. Giridhar Kini, Mr. C. G. Mutanna, Dr. Anand Venugopal, Dr. Hari Narayan Sharma, Dr. Unni Krishnan, Dr. Lakshmi Narayan Rao, former dean, Dr. R. S. P. Rao, the former dean, and Dr. Kiti Nath Balal, CMO of Dr. T. M. P. Hospital. 
my associate deans, Dr. Anil Bhatt, Dr. Krishnan Prabhu, Naveen Salins, and Kanti Latapai, a warm welcome to you all. All the directors, deputy directors, deans, associate deans of the Constituent Colleges of Mahe, HODs of KMC, all faculty, students, postgraduates, teaching staff, non-teaching staff, members of the press, special invitees, ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to you. Today, we gather here not only to celebrate the remarkable achievements of our faculty and students, but also to reflect upon the collective journey that has brought us to this pivotal moment. To our faculty members, I express my deepest gratitude for your unwavering support, guidance, and mentorship. Your commitment to nurturing the next generation of healthcare professionals is truly commendable. Let us strive tirelessly to advance frontiers of medicine for betterment of humanity. I will quickly go through the college report, annual college report of Kasuba Medical College. As I told you, established in June 30, 1953, KMC is India's first private medical college based on sound principles of self-financing. We have celebrated the Patent Jubilee recently and we are 70 years young. We are consistently seeing a progress and a mood up in our ranking by various agencies such as NIRF and QS Old University ranking. WEEK has ranked KMC as the sixth best medical college in India. Carriers 360 has ranked KMC as the ninth best medical college in India. Sixth best medical college in India as per time India today. Third best private as per outlook. We are ranked second among the private medical colleges by all India ranking by the week. I used to like to quote Dr. H. S. Balal, quote, Reaching to the top is very difficult and staying there is still more difficult, unquote. And at KMC, we continuously try to give our best. These are all the accreditations of the KMC lab services, NABH for Kasturba Hospital. We also got NABH for Institutional Ethics Committee and NABH certification for emergency department and NABA certification for nursing excellence. We run around 68 courses apart from MBBS in KMC. At present, we are around 2,200 students enrolled for various courses in KMC. Many start up from KMC, which have been incubated at Mahe Incubator Center. I'm sure our Vice Chancellor will be happy to see this particular slide. We have progressed and enhanced our research output. More than 50% of our publications are in Q1 and Q2. We have received a sanction amounting to 10.65 crores in the year 2023. This was the orientation for the students of 2023 batch, and we called it as the Med Orient. We have a week-long orientation program for the first-year students and we orient them to the place and also to the course. Initiatives like sampling, planting samplings by our student at Endpoint Manipal during orientation has been introduced to instill a sense of environmental responsibility among our students. This was the inauguration of the high-risk pregnancy workshop and was inaugurated by our district commissioner. The ethical committee was accredited by NABH. To felicitate research at KMC, we have implemented two parallel institutional ethics committee as there is an increase in number of applications for research and clinical studies at KMC. A unique center of wilderness medicine and medicine scuba driving diving center under the emergency department was started. First of its kind in the country, 
Wilderness Medicine Conference was organized by Center of Wilderness Medicine. Hurtiest congratulations to our alumni who have secured residency placements in the United States this year. Division of Pediatric Hematology organized guest talks by faculty from Tata Hospital, Mumbai. Glaucoma Day was organized by ophthalmology department along with Manipal College of Health Professions. Dr. Satish Kumar Edig and his team from the Center of Excellence in Clinical Embryology trains around 15 doctors every year, mostly from Africa. They spend three months in the Department of Reproductive Science. So far, around 100 people have been trained from 25 African countries. And this program is sponsored by Merck Foundation. National Cancer Control. Donate blood, donate life. Donate blood, save life. It's necessary to motivate someone for blood donation, and hence, this training program was held on the World Blood Donor Day. Basic microscopy and parasitology laboratory training was organized by the Department of Microbiology. KMC being the founder member, organized the International Go Global Cancer Consortium Conference at KMC Manipal. Responsibility, KMC takes part in several initiatives. A workshop to train first responders was held for traffic police and auto drivers. The new facility for Department of Medical Genetics, KMC, was inaugurated by Mahe Vice Chancellor Lieutenant Colonel Dr. M.T. Venkatesh along with Pro Vice Chancellor Dr. Professor Sharath Rao. Department of Medical Genetics, KMC, has been training programs including GM Medical Genetics, MSc Genetics as well as PhD program. The new facility is around 12,000 square feet and adds a dedicated space for molecular genetics, cell biology, bioinformatics, and perinatal genetics. World Thalassemia Day was organized on 26th May by the Department of Pediatric Hematology. The research wing KMC has initiated research verticals conceived by Associate Dean Dr. Navin Salins. We have 10 such research verticals, undergraduate, postgraduate, postdoctoral, faculty, IPR, and grants to facilitate research from all stakeholders. Mr. Anshuman Kashyap took over as the president from Ms. Shivani Gupta during the KMC Council handover ceremony. Yoga and meditation sessions during International Yoga Day celebration was a part of the formal MBBS curriculum to reduce the stress among students as per the National Medical Council Directive. The National Medical Commission has made district residency program mandatory for postgraduate students for three months. In accordance with this, our postgraduate students are posted to all the community and district health centers of Udupi district by the Department of Community Medicine. All India Interzone Interuniversity Chess Champion was organized by Mahe. Wonderfully captured photo, who is Czech and who is Czechmate. National Conference of Indian Society of Rational Pharmacotherapies 2023 was held in Manipal. International Childhood Cancer Day was organized February 2024 by the Department of Pediatric Hematology in collaboration with Make-A-Wish, a, a non-profit organization. Children were happy to receive lovely gifts of their choice during this event. The batch of 1999 MBBS came to Manipal to be a part of the KMC Platinum GB celebrations. And our alumni, Dr. Dr. Roy Singh, incidentally, belongs to this batch. Anshuman Kashyap, our president of the Student Council, will showcase all the activities conducted by Student Council and various clubs later on. 
On 20th November 2023, KMC celebrated 70 years of glorious existence and Platinum Jubilee was celebrated by felicitating the past Indians who served KMC Manipal. Chief guest of the Platinum Jubilee celebration, Dr. Kishore Mulpuri is the head of the Department of Orthopedics at the University of British Columbia, Vancouver, Canada, alumnus of KMC, felicitated all the heads of the departments. KMC Manipal recognized all the past and the present heads of the various departments who have contributed to the growth of the institution. Towards redefining the standards of medical training and patient care, signifying KMC's role as a pioneer in integrating technology and healthcare education. Me very efficiently. Me very efficiently. Overall, the effective departmental leadership is critical to the success and growth of an educational institution. These are our leaders. We appreciate your support, your dedication, diligence, and commitments to KMC. We are a wonderful and amazing team KMC. We are actually privileged to have the support and encouragement from all of you, sir. I, on behalf of the entire institution, express my gratitude towards your support. Started as Mandupalla, Mandupalla, which means mud pond, and today we are the place where we have many pals. Thank you, Manipal. Thank you, one and all. Thank you, sir, for your insightful words. Our institution takes great pride in the dedication and hard work exhibited by our faculty, be it administration, patient care, research, or academics. In recognition of the dedication and accomplishments of our faculty, I invite Dr. Anil K. Bhatt, Associate Dean of KMC Manipal, to announce the, po the faculty awards. I request our esteemed chief guest, Mr. Harish Shah, to present the set of awards. Good evening, everyone. We'll start off with a distinguished alumni award, which is given to our, our own alumni faculty who have served the institution for at least nine years, Dr. Amrita Parida, Department of Pharmacology. Dr. Neeta KIR, Department of Ophthalmology. Dr. Sandhya Kumari, MB, Department of Reproductive Medicine. The Dr. TMA Pai Gold Medal for the research, outstanding research publication is for the Publication Mutant MEST Link Cellular Stress to Type 1 Collagen Aggregation in Osteogenesis Imperfecta. I request Dr. Hitesh, who is one of the co-authors, to take the award. The best audiovisual material, the first place goes to Dr. Suhani Sumalata, Department of Anatomy. The topic is Histology of Epithelium. The second place goes to Dr. Mamata H, Department of Anatomy for Gross Anatomy of the Larynx. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sirs. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Now is the moment to behold the golden outcome of many years of dedicated perseverance within a distinguished professional journey. Without much ado, may I request Dr. Padmaraj Hegde, Dean, K. 
KMC Manipal to present the best outgoing student of KMC Manipal for the year 2023. I request the president of today's function, our honorable pro-chancellor of Mahe, Dr. H.S. Ballal, and the chief guest, Mr. Harish Shah, to hand over the award. The best, go the best outgoing student award goes to Ms. Mununanmai Rahul Narlikar. Best outgoing student MBBS, second in the third professional year, MBBS part two, best outgoing MBBS student, first in surgery, third professional year part two, Mr. Saundar Raja Krishnamurthy Award, endowed by his son, Dr. Rajendra Prasad of California, supported by KMC Manipal for the best outgoing MBBS student of Kasturba Medical College for the year 2023-2024. Dr. Darshan Lal Gupta Award, endowed by his son, Bupendra K. Gupta, an old alumnus of KMC, supported by KMC Manipal for the best outgoing MBBS student of Kasturba Medical College, Manipal for the year 2023, and Certificate of Merit for Excellence Academic Performance in the third professional year, MBBS Part 2 University exam held in February 2024. Congratulations. Thank you, sirs. Dear Ms. Mrunmai, your insights and perspectives are awaited. We are eager to hear from you. Good evening, respected dig dignitaries on the dais, professors, parents, and my dear friends. It is with immense honor and gratitude that I stand before you today to accept this award. I would like to take these few minutes to reflect upon the past five years, which have shaped me into the person I am today. It has been a period of numerous triumphs and setbacks, a true roller coaster of a ride. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank the people who have helped me along the way. I will forever be indebted to my wonderful professors and mentors who have shared with us something invaluable that cannot be found even in the best of textbooks, their experience. By sharing with us their stories and their mistakes, they have given us room to make new ones, which will undoubtedly help us to become better doctors. On the day that our exam results were announced, my parents, who are both doctors, were overjoyed. They told me, well then, real life starts now. While it was a reality check, I am grateful to them for giving it to me, along with their constant and unwavering support. I am also grateful for my sister and my grandparents, who have been my rock since day one. I have found that being a young doctor is much like being a young adult. You are expected to know certain things, which you quite often find that little bit easier. I am thankful for all my wonderful friends who have been with me through thick and thin, and with whom I have made unforgettable memories. I consider them to be the best thing I found in Manipal. I am extremely lucky to be a student of KMC Manipal, which has given me some incredible opportunities, both academic and extracurricular, that have helped me grow into a better person. I am eternally grateful to the patients who let me poke and prod and auscultate them for up to 10 minutes at a time, just so I could make sure that what I was feeling or hearing was accurate. Without them, medicine wouldn't be half as rewarding as it is. In conclusion, I hope we never lose sight of the profound privilege it is to serve as healers. In a world that is often fraught with uncertainty and suffering, we have been given the extraordinary opportunity to bring healing, hope, and comfort to those in need. Let us never take this privilege for granted, and let us always approach our work with utmost dedication, empathy, and humility. Thank you, and have a wonderful evening. Thank you, Mbrunmai. Your hard work and encouraging lines will stay as pillars of motivation to all our students. Best wishes to you.
We are honored to have Mr. Harish Shah, trustee of the Harish and the Bina Shah Foundation, Mumbai, as our chief guest today. To further introduce our distinguished guest to the gathering, may I invite Dr. Naveen Salins, Associate Dean of KMC Manipal. Good evening, everyone. It is my utmost pleasure to introduce our chief guest, Mr. Harish Shah, who has graciously accepted our invitation to join us today. Mr. Harish Shah is an alumnus of MIT from Manipal, 1975 to 1980, passed out in 1980, and an MBA from Mumbai. He founded Signet Excipients Private Limited in 1986 and it has led it and has led it to become india's premier pharmaceutical raw materials company with global partnerships mr shah's multifaceted personality and diverse accomplishments are truly remarkable today i am proud to highlight his exceptional journey as an inspiration to all of us the shah family's commitment to philanthropy goes beyond their business ventures Mr. Harish Shah, the founder of the Harish and Bina Shah Foundation, has dedicated his life to positively impacting society. His philanthropic endeavors aimed at improving the lives of those in need continue to inspire others to follow in his footsteps. They dedicate their time and resources to various social causes, prioritizing initiatives focused on education, healthcare, governance, civic media, empowerment and adolescent and women health, art and culture, environmental conservation and poverty elevation. Through strategic partnerships and innovative programs, the foundation works tirelessly to address pressing social issues and empower marginalized communities. Their efforts have contributed significantly to India's social, political and economic development driving positive changes across diverse sectors. The Harish and Bina Shah Foundation has been setting an exemplary standard in philanthropy by contributing towards various institutions and NGOs. The Harish Shah's vision for a better future, coupled with his enterprising spirit and leadership, has resulted in the numerous initiatives and projects that have made significant impact. They are the major donor hope to many families who would have otherwise abandoned the cancer treatment of their children. Their commitment towards education scholars through his compassion, dedication and tireless efforts serves as a shining example of how one person can create a positive change and inspire others to join in the pursuit of a more equitable and compassionate world. So, we believe that your journey and your mission mirror the path trodden by your late founder, Dr. T.M.A. Pai. It is a story of societal transformation from which our students and faculty could draw inspiration. I am sure that it will be a valuable learning experience for all of us. With that, I invite Mr. Harish Shah to come forward and address our esteemed gathering. Let's give a round of applause to welcome our chief guest. Respected uh, Pro-Chancellor Dr. H.S. Balal, Vice-Chancellor, Lieutenant General Dr. Venkatesh, Pro-Vice-Chancellor of Health Sciences Dr. Sharat Rao, other dignitaries, faculty, and students of KMC, healthcare professionals, and friends. I'm so honored and humbled to be invited to this function. This this Bhumi of Manipal is no ordinary land. It is holy grounds brought to life by modern day saints. Dr. T.M.A. Pai, the seer who had this dream and brought to reality these large, larger than life institutions that imparted education, experience and ethics 
to hundreds and thousands of young people over the years. Countless students have traversed these grounds and built their lives and found their purpose from here. And I have to say one of them is me. I first want to apologize to all the students here who actually are planning the future, but I'm going to talk a little bit about the past. And not so long time ago, only 48 years back, which as my daughter reminded me is, oh my God, half a century. I came as a young boy from Mumbai and gained admission in MIT, the engineering college right here in Manipal. Today I'm filled with memories of, of my time here, five valuable years, 1975 to 80. Manipal uh, taught me many things, from academic excellence to the fact that you can have rava dosa for all three meals in a day, or an omelet at 4 a.m. on the carts. Many, many things we learned here. I was conscious of being in Manipal, but at that age, I don't think I was conscious of how much Manipal was in me. It changed so much of me, of who I am, and prepared for a life of growth and eventual happiness. There are three things specifically about this place that have truly stayed with me and that I owe so much to. Lesson number one, the importance of having a strong support system to succeed in life. They say education is the key to success. Well, I found that the key is actually a mix of relentless curiosity, the occasional all-nighter, and learning to ask for help before you desperately need it. That can be from friends, family, and a wonderful set of teachers and mentors in the university who help you go through some of your toughest and most confusing years as a young person. Stress is real, and having people who can support you when you're unsure is critical. I learned that here, and I have tried to implement it in my own company. Lesson number two, succeeding academically, academically is important, but not enough. MIT taught me how to grow holistically. As future leaders, innovators, and thinkers, remember that the world outside these university walls go beyond your marks. That's only the starting point of getting through the doorway. It is interested in your ideas, your tenacity, and sometimes in your ability to navigate and go beyond Wikipedia and chat GPT in a way that would make your professors proud. Jokes aside, it taught me to think boldly and bravely and when to make rules and also at times when to break them. Lesson number three. It taught me about a world beyond myself. It was my gateway to the rest of India. Manipal was and is a melting pot of cultures and I was surrounded by a kaleidoscope of diversity. People from every corner of India and beyond, each with their own story to tell. From the rural heartlands of Bihar to the beautiful tree plantations of Assam, and even friends from faraway places like Iran, Malaysia, etc. I had never experienced India in, in all its diversity as I did in Manipal. India is so diverse that sometimes we find comfort by staying in our communities. But this campus challenged that and with that it challenged biases. I held about, but the biases that you hold about different communities. It took me on a beautiful, on a difficult but beautiful journey of unlearning those biases. Something that often starts in denial but ends in discovery. This was the most 
important lesson that I learned in Manipal. Anyway, post Manipal, I, I left, which I left in 1980, and quite honestly was not sure what my next steps would be. So I came back to Mumbai and went through the usual grind of applications with acceptances and rejections, and finally began as a trainee at an engineering company. My work there made me a road warrior and sent me from steel plants of Bokaro to cement factories in Rajasthan. And my exposure in Manipal to Indians from different parts of the country came back to hold me in great stead. I had learned to deal with people across the country. Five years later, I started my own company with very modest resources, a pharmaceuticals chemicals company. We came from a simple middle class family and my father trusted me with his life savings. It was a responsibility that scared me, but lessons learned earlier kept me going. Over the next 38 years, my wife and I grew the business together. We were blessed and in the company, we never chased targets or sales numbers, but focused on the quality of work and the decisions, but always with integrity and ethics. The success, wealth, and recognition were incidental. I truly believe in karmande vadikarastu ma faleshu kadachana, which means focus on the task and not on the expectation of the result. Live up to your best idea of who you are and be good to the people around you, and you will be successful. Having sold my business recently and due to retire this year, I find myself in the privileged position to think about how I can focus less on me, my family, etc., and more on giving back to society. While my wife, children, and I have grown our family foundation over the last decade, we now have more dedicated energy and time to give. Some of, my, some of my learnings that I'm trying to practice now and not just preach. First, philanthropy is not just making about a difference, but it's about being the difference. That's a very hard thing to do, to actively not practice classism, casteism, other discrimination. It's easy to say and present being progressive but very hard to find your own biases and correct them. As you begin your careers, I must remind you that as doctors and engineers, you will hold power over other people's lives. What does this power really mean? We recently made a, a contribution to Ashoka University and my son-in-law was speaking there and he pointed out that Emperor Ashoka was this ruthless king who until he had a moral and philosophical awakening was unable to be a truly effective ruler. Power doesn't mean much unless it comes with the morality of how to use that power. An even more recent example is the film Oppenheimer. The world built nuclear built nuclear bombs without considering the societal implications. Technology is for the betterment of society, and so understanding society is critical to technology. Talking of Ashoka University, which you probably are aware, is a liberal arts multidisciplinary university. This teaches us to operate in the world of gray, unlike the sciences which are strictly black and white. One needs to go beyond the certitude of binaries and operate in the gray zone of the real world. It is not enough to know what to do, but also learn how to do. We cannot be responsible professionals without understanding where someone comes from, why they do what they do, why they wear what they wear, speak the way they do, etc., etc. As much as there is so much optimism in the country, there is so much of upbeatness, 
let's not forget there are still several fundamental problems, pressing problems of our society. Some key ones. Firstly, we must confront the persistent inequities in education. In a world where knowledge is power, millions of children are left behind. Their potential untapped due to lack of resources, access and opportunity. This is not just a loss for them, it's a loss for all of us. The solution begins with us through mentorships, scholarships and advocating for policies that ensure every child can dream big and achieve bigger. Secondly, the specter of climate change. It looms large, threatening our, ev our very way of life. Our rivers, air and forests suffer under the weight of industrial progress. Yet in this crisis lies an opportunity for innovation. We must lead the charge in adopting sustainable practices, supporting green technology, and evaluating our communities about the importance of environmental stewardship. Each small action, when multiplied by millions, can usher in a wave of change. Lastly, and more relevantly here, the realm of healthcare presents a paradox of progress and disparity. While we advance in medical science left behind because of where they live or what they can afford. There are many other problems, but I won't get into all of them. I'm not implying that the burden of the solution has to be solely on the youth. It's your time to learn and grow and focus on work, but in your own way, in your professional life, family life, social life, you can. So with the power of the young, and the experience of the old and the collective wisdom of both, we can shape a better world. So, what, so I want to end up by telling you about the scholarship, I, a step I think that brings all of us together. It is with a deep sense of gratitude that we established Mahe's Merit Come Means based scholarship for students aspiring to study engineering. This scholarship, supported by our Family Foundation, aims to provide financial assistance to, to those who possess the talent and determination to excel, but lack the means to do so. Approximately 240 students per year is the current goal, and in, term, and in time, we hope to widen and diversify this opportunity of several more students across India. This scholarship is but a small way of saying thank you to the professors who ignited our passion for learning, to the friends who stood by me through thick and thin, to the campus that became my home away from home. I believe in the power of education to change lives, to open doors, to break down barriers, to pave the way for a brighter future for all those who have not had a level playing field. To be able to pay homage to an institution that has given you so much is a humbling opportunity and I believe this is only the start of and we can do much more going forward. Students, as you venture into the world, remember that the most valuable currency is not found in your wallet but in the time and kindness you share. And unlike cryptocurrency, its value only goes up. So I'll end up with that wishing all of you the very best for your future. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your inspiring words. I'm sure our students will take home your life lessons and learnings and try to sincerely implement them in their lives. As a token of our gratitude, I request our Honorable Pro-Chancellor of MAHE, Dr. H.S. Balal, to present a memento to our esteemed Chief Guest.
Thank you, sirs. In the demanding arena of medical academia, achievements of our postgraduate students shine brightly, serving as a source of inspiration for fellow students and aspiring healthcare professionals. Acknowledging their efforts and dedication, may I invite Dr. Anil K. Bhatt, Associate Dean of KMC Manipal, to announce the postgraduate awards. And to bestow recognition upon our awardees, it's my privilege to welcome our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Lieutenant General Dr. M. D. Venkatesh. Please do the honors, sir. Awards of KMC Manipal, Dr. Shalaka Anand Chatorikar. Gold Medal Institute by the Department of Psychiatry, KMC Manipal, for Best Outgoing Postgraduate Student in Psychiatry 2023. She also gets the Gold Medal in the name of Sanjay Chandragiri Gold Medal Award for the highest mark secured in Psychiatry University examination held in 2023. Dr. Aishwarya Kulkarni, Rulia Ram Memorial Gold Medal endowed by Dr. Ved Prakash Gupta of UK, supported by KMC Manipal for Best Outgoing Student in MS Ophthalmology. She also gets the Rotarian Late Dr. P. N. Srinivas Rao Prize endowed by the Rotary Club of Udupi Manipal for the Best Outgoing Student in MS Ophthalmology. Dr. Nagpal Raghav Radhakrishnan, Gold Medal in Memory of Dr. Late Arun Kuskal for Best Outgoing DM Cardiology Student of KMC Manipal. He also gets the Best Outgoing DM Student in the Department of Cardiology at Kasturba Medical College Manipal in the memory of Dr. Upangala Ramabhat, University Exam 2023. Dr. Shamashri Das, Best Outgoing PG Student Award for Standing First in MD Community Medicine in 2023, endowed by Department of Community Medicine, KMC Manipal. Dr. Naveena V, Gold Medal endowed by Dr. H.S. Balal, Pro Chancellor Mahe, in the name of his mother, as Prafulla S. Egde Memorial Endowment to the Best Outgoing Student in Radiology at KMC Manipal Examination 2023. Dr. Pulgam Vamsida Reddy, award instituted by Siemens for the best student radiologist of the Kasturba Medical College Manipal 2023. Dr. Priya Patil, Dr. P. Amini Memorial Award for the Best Outgoing Student in MS Obstetrics and Gynecology 2023. She also gets Dr. Prabha Tandon Gold Medal Award endowed by her sister Dr. Shobha Tandon for the Best Outgoing PG Student in MS OBG in the University Examination 2023. Dr. Rashmi Natarajan not attending, uh, Dr. Aparajita, she is also not attending, Dr. Kondam Alekya for the Best Outgoing Student in MD General Medicine University Examination 2023, an award instituted in the memory of late Sri A.D. Rame Gowda of Chikmagalur. She also gets the award endowed by Dr. K.K. R.K.K. Nair of Dubai and supported by KMC Manipal for Best Outgoing in MD General Medicine in 2023. Dr. Karnik Sapnil Avinash, Surgery Head of the Department Award instituted by Ms. Nirmala Devi, former employee of the De Department of Surgery, KMC Manipal, for the best postgraduate student in MS General Surgery. Dr. Mihika Sinha, for the best outgoing student in MS ENT, university examination held in 2023, endowed by Association of Oto Rhino Laryngologists of India, Manipal branch. Dr. Nivalika, for the best outgoing student in the Department of Dermatology 2023 exams.
Dr. Sahi Saumya, late Captain Dr. Edgar Joseph D. Neto, Memorial Award for the Best Outgoing Postgraduate Student in the Department of Pediatrics, KMC Manipal, University Examination held in 2023. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sirs, and congratulations to all the awardees. We are deeply grateful for the unwavering support and encouragement bestowed upon our institution by our esteemed Vice Chancellor of Mahe, Lieutenant General Dr. M. D. Venkatesh. Sir, your support has been a guiding star, illuminating our path towards excellence and innovation. May I now invite you to share your insights with us. Good evening, everybody, and warm greetings to all of you. Mr. Harisha, Mrs. Binasha, Dr. Balal, Mrs. Balal, the dignities on the dais, dignities of the dais, faculty members, my dear students, and guests. It's a matter of great pride and privilege for me to be here today, to be part of yet another College Day and Award Ceremony of Kasturva Medical College, Manipal one of the best known names in medical education, not only in India, but all over the globe. Alumni of KMC are treating patients all over the world, literally all over the world. In fact, the, the mere name of a graduate from KMC opens up doors anywhere in the world. This is the reputation that this institution has relentlessly earned over a period of more than seven decades. Today ranks amongst the best medical schools in India, not only in India, but across the globe. Even in the international ranking, QS subject rankings, Mahe finds reference in more than three subjects. And in the overall, in the broad specialty of medicine and life sciences, today Mahe ranks, sorry, Manipal, Kasturba Medical College, Manipal ranks amongst the top 300. This is something which is really, truly creditable. And KMC will be very pleasantly surprised when the QN subject ranking get actually declared on the 10th of April that there are many more laurels for KMC to be had on that particular day. Let me congratulate the dean, the faculty, and all the students for this enormous achievement. It's just not about being good in what you do. It's about being good in what other things that you do other than your own professional activities. To that end, the faculty and the students of KMC have distinguished themselves in many, many ways. In many ways, impacting lives of millions and millions of people. As an institution, KMC is second to none in this country and perhaps a handful of institutions in the world can match it, match KMC Manipal in the quality of infrastructure, in the quality of instruction, in the quality of skills that are taught to its students. More than anything else, one very important trait which distinguishes a good doctor from an average doctor is the effective domain. That is the domain of empathy, sympathy, listening skills, putting a hand on the shoulder of the patients, talking to them nicely, interacting with the with the families of the patients in the right way, more than anything else, making the patient feel that at that particular moment, he is the most important person in the doctor's life. This is what distinguishes a good doctor from an excellent doctor. To that end, I think our dedicated faculty take immense pleasure in mentoring, in showing the way to our students. It's just not that the KMC is a one of the best quaternary care institutions in the country. It is also that Kasturba Medical College and Kasturba Hospital take very, very proactive and supportive role in the primary care, in the secondary care, in the tertiary care, in the quaternary care, right down to the community level. 
the myriad of activities that our students are involved is a testimony to their commitment to become excellent doctors and excel wherever they go in this world. KMC as an institution is, is beyond that the best in the country. What is more important is, it's just not about the quality of education that is provided, but the quality of research that is carried out in this institution. Multidisciplinary research, cutting-edge research, futuristic research, which is going to make an impact, not now, but 10, 15, 20 years down the line. So this is where K KMC distinguishes itself. If I say that today, if there are two institutions in the country, in the field of medicine, who are doing quantum and substantial research. It is All India Institute of Medical Sciences, Delhi, and KMC ranks number two in the research output in the entire country. This is something that we need to be proud of. So therefore, the edifice on which the Manipal University and the first of its professional institution, Kasturva Medical College, Manipal, was founded by our late founder, late Dr. Triyam Pai, of doing good to the society, empowering society, providing quality education, and healthcare at a very nominal cost is, has proved its worth in tons of gold. It's producing humongous number of young medical graduates, postgraduates, postdoctoral, and professionals, and um, these, our students, our alumni, are dotting the entire world and making KMC proud, came making Mahi proud, more than anything else, making a significant impact on the quality of healthcare that is provided across the globe. On this very, very important annual awards day, I let me congratulate all the students, achievers, who have excelled in their examinations, have received awards, to all those faculty who, with their unstinted commitment, to making things better for their students and the community who have excelled in various fields. Let me congratulate all of you. Award, winning award once is, is good, but I, I wish all of you make it a habit of working without expecting anything in return. This is something that we need to inculcate in ourselves, that it's a selfless, self-motivated, unincentivized way of our work which is going to distinguish ourselves from the normal, from to the, the better ones. To that end, once again, to the entire administration of Kasturba Medical College, heartiest congratulations on this stupendous achievement in the last one year. I'm sure the next one year is going to be even better. There are a lot of things are happening in KMC Manipal, which, which will bear fruit in the next two, three, five years. And I'm sure KMC Manipal is destined to be the best medical college in the country and I'm sure very soon, over the next five, seven years, will find itself listed among the top 100 medical colleges in the world. This is something that I'm sure is going to happen. The changes are already there. The green shoots are already being seen. It's only the persistence and the committed efforts of the faculty and the students will make this dream a reality. Once again, congratulating all the award winners, congratulating the entire faculty, students, teaching, non-teaching staff for a wonderful year that went by, wishing the next year to be even better. KMC, long live, on your way towards excellence. Thank you very much. Jai Hind. Thank you, sir, for your encouragement and supporting lines. At KMC Manipal, academic excellence isn't merely an aspiration. It's ingrained in the fabric of our institution, shaping every student who passes through our doors. Our students exemplify unparalleled dedication to learning, their thirst for knowledge, setting them apart in the academic arena. Recognizing their unwavering commitment and perseverance, it is now time to announce the first set of undergraduate prizes and awards for our MBBS students of the first and second years. It is my pleasure to invite Dr. Krishnananda Prabhu, Associate Dean of KMC Manipal, to announce the first set of undergraduate prizes and awards for our MBBS students. I also invite our respected Pro Vice Chancellor, Health Sciences Mahe, 
Dr. Sharad K. Rao to acknowledge our awardees. Good evening to all of you. I am pleased to announce the undergraduate awardees. For the first professional year, Ms. Medha Reddy G. She receives award for first in anatomy in the first professional year MBBS examination held in 2023. She also receives the award for first in anatomy in first professional year MBBS in examination and uh, a Dr. R. P. Kopikar Memorial Prize endowed by Dr. D. Vivakar from Mombosa for the student standing first in anatomy. Do she also receives Dr. K. Krishnaswamy Prize endowed by Dr. Anatomy, the Anatomy Club of Kasuba Medical College Manipal for proficiency in anatomy. Certificate for merit for the excellent academic performance in the first professional year Thank you, sir. Ms. Ria Sirish Shenvi. She receives award for first, uh, standing first in first professional year MBBS University examination, standing first in biochemistry and physiology, and a prize endowed by All India Conference ACBI Manipal for securing highest marks in biochemistry, and Dr. R. Kalmadi Prize, endowed by Dr. Sanjeev Rao Kalmadi for, stand, uh, for the student standing first in physiology. And also receives Dr. A. Krishna Rao Prize, endowed by Dr. S. P. Amin of Nairobi and alumnus of KMC Manipal for the student standing first in physiology. Mr. Varadhan Dinakaran Memorial Award instituted by his parents and supported by KMC Manipal for the best student in the first professional year MBBS examination. Certificate of Merit of Excellence for Academic Performance in First Professional Examination. Thank you, sir. Now we're coming to the Certificate of Merit for Excellent Academic Performance of the students in the first year. Ms. Rashmi Thakur. Mr. Mohammad Saad Anjuman. Aditya Anand. Sachi Girish Kurudi. Akil U. Wagle. Vaishnavi Tiwari. Rakshit G. Maya. Asfiya Fatma. Ujwal Agrawal. Now coming to Awards for second professional year MBBS students. Jagrati Sharma. She receives award for first in pathology in the second professional year university examination, certificate for merit for the excellent performance in second, second year professional examination. Vaishna, Vashita, Vashint, Vanista Kapoor. She receives awards for first in second professional examination, certificate of merit for excellent performance in second professional examination. She also receives award for first in microbiology, first in pharmacology, 
in second professional year examination. Now coming to the certificate of merit for excellent academic performance of the student in the second year. Priyanshi Rastogi. Nirbhai Singhal. Bhargavi Arora. Kalyani Gopal. Atif Mustafa. Manisha Khoja. Hiteishi Garg Brinda Chaturvedi Akshat Sinha Pulila Lalit is not attending. Yashwant Saravaran. Congratulations to all awardees. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Our institution flourishes not solely on academic prowess, but also on the vibrant tapestry of the extracurricular activities. It is in these pursuits beyond the classroom where our students truly shine, cultivating talents, fostering leadership, and nurturing holistic development. Walking us through these lines, I now invite Mr. Ayushman Kashyap, President of the Student Council, to present the Council's report. A very good evening, esteemed dignitaries, chief guest sir, uh, vice chancellor sir, pro vice chancellor sir, uh, pro chancellor sir, dean sir, all our associate deans, faculties, and students. I'm Aishman Kashyap, president of the KMC Student Council for the term 2023-2024. It is an absolute honor for me to be standing here in front of all of you on the occasion of our annual day and award distribution ceremony to present the student council report for the year 2023-2024. Our college, not just an institute of eminence, but a crucible of knowledge, experience, and talent, has always played the most vital role in bringing out the best out of each student, and we as the council have been there just to facilitate that. The Student Council of KMC Manipal fulfills a list of duties, from conducting events and fests like Verve, Invictus, Utsav, to making sure that students have an engaging year, from addressing student grievances related to mess and hostels, to sending teams for outstation tournaments, it's a spectrum of things that this body handles. The Council of 23-24 took office on the 11th of July, 2023, in a much splendid council handover ceremony, where the 12 members took an oath to strive towards their duties. These members consist of the six executive council members, namely the president, the vice president, the general secretary, the joint secretary, the judicial secretary, and the treasurer, who work in collaboration with the six committee secretaries, the SRF uh, secretary, the cultural secretary, editor-in-chief, literary secretary, sports secretary, and the social welfare secretary. From academic endeavors to extracurricular activities, our aim this year has been to approach each task with dedication, resilience, and a spirit of collaboration. To foster an environment which is not only inclusive, but where friendships are forged, ideas are exchanged, and dreams are nurtured. To not just facilitate student activities, but address the less looked into student issues like mental health and ragging. 
And for all of this, with unwavering dedication, we have tried our best to work with honesty and perseverance. Which leads me to the events conducted for the year May 2023 to April 2024. To start with, we just finished with Utsav last year, uh, last week, which was from the 1st to the 5th of April, wherein KMC bagged over 9 positions and secured the overall position of 4th. We also had Verve from the 3rd of March to the 27th of March, wherein we had various uh, sports, cultural and literary competitions, the annual Interbatch Fest of KMC Manipal. The theme for this year was a game of cards. Second years, which was team clubs, were the overall champions, followed by first years, who were second. The event saw over 550 students participate in across 30 events. Interdepartmental Verve to foster to our PG, our faculties and uh, Rest of, the fa rest of the people who are not involved in the UG activities. Various departments from KMC Manipal were seen battling it out in events like the Interdepartmental Turg of War, Antakshari, and Variety, which were won by Community Medicine, Pathology, and Ophthalmology departments, respectively. Over 100 PGs and faculties participated in over three events. We had the anti-ragging week from the 12th to the 18th of August in 2023, which was organized by the Core Council. Uh, we conducted various events like essay writing and poster making competitions. There was also a talk by Dr. Vinod Nayak and Dr. Chandni Gupta on the medical legal aspects of ragging. There was also an awareness street play performed by Agas, the Dramatics Club of KMC Manipal. World, Hental, uh, World Mental Health Week, which was from the 10th to the 17th of October 2023. Dia painting competition was organized by the Student Council at the Home Bilaku Psychiatric Rehabilitation Center. A uh, five-kilometer awareness run was conducted by FitWIP in collaboration uh, with the Sports Committee and the Department of Student Affairs. Photography competition held in collaboration with Department of Psychiatry was also done. Coming to the Student Research Forum activities from May 2023 to April 2024, there were a number of them from the Undergraduate Research Workshop, Research Roadmap, Letter to the Editor Workshop, Research Roadmap on ICMR STS 2024, and the Onco Quest, which was conducted on the occasion of World Cancer Day 2024. The Childhood Cancer Awareness, which was held on two days, 12th of September 2023 and 15th of February 2024, organized by the Cultural Committee in collaboration with the Department of Pediatric Hematology Oncology. There was a candlelight march organized to access life uh, on the 12th of September. And on the 15th of February, inspired by Sadako's story of the 1,000 paper cranes, we, uh, we folded, the students and faculties folded over 1,000 cranes to show support to these cancer-fighting children. Lit Cipher, the very first edition of Lit Cipher was conducted by the Literary Committee this year. Over 12 events were organized, some of them namely Shipwreck, General Quiz, Calligraphy and many more. This event saw over 200, uh, 200 students participate from various years. The Festival of Ideas conducted by the editorial board, various photography, art and writing events held over three days, which saw a participation of around 150 students. The social welfare events for this year, after four years, we introduced Sportsquake, a fundraiser sports event organized by the Social Welfare Committee in collaboration with the Sports Committee. Various blood and clothes donation drives were held. Selavi, which is the annual fundraiser event conducted by the Social Welfare Committee, was done as a part of Vedam and a fundraiser fortnight in collaboration with Cutting Edge, the Surgical Society of KMC Manipal. Women's cricket was done for the very first time this year on, from the 26th to the 29th of October conducted by the Sports Committee. With over 40 participants, the event saw three events battle it out. KMC Amazonians emerged as the winners. The very first women's KTPL was also organized this year as a part of WERF. Fujio Cup, <coughs> wherein we had two, stud two students, Harsha Vardhan Sai Sadhaneni and Shrived Mehta, who are currently interns at KFC Manipal, who won the Fujio Cup Quiz 2023, an international quiz on stem cell and regenerative medicine for undergraduates and postgraduates held in Tokyo, Japan. They were facilitated by our uh, Associate Dean, Dr. Krishnananda Prabhu. Coming to the academic uh, fest of KMC Manipal, the very first edition of Vedam 2023 held from the 1st to the 5th of August. First of its kind, five-day academic fest held at KMC was conducted in two phases. Meliora, the scientific conference, wherein events like poster presentation, panel discussions, and many more were organized by the Student Research Forum, and Asterion, with events like medical puzzles, skills workshop, and many more organized by the three academic clubs of KMC Manipal, namely Tempest, Justicia, and Cutting Edge. Uh, KMC also participated in the annual intercollegiate fest of Jipmer, Pondicherry, which was Pandan, wherein, with an exceptional performance, we bagged over 14 prizes, 
across various cultural sports and literary events. Coming to the next big thing, which is around in KMC Manipal, Invictus 2024, the annual intercollegiate fest of KMC Manipal, to be held from the 17th to the 21st of April. And uh, we are expecting a good participation this year. And for the much awaited thing, for those of you who did not know, we have a pro show, and the pro show reveal is coming soon. For which I would now like to show everyone a promo video. So to end, I would like to thank our college administration, Dr. Padmaraj Hegre, our Dean, Dr. Krishnananda Prabhu, Dr. Anil Bhatt, Dr. Naveen Salins, and uh, Dr. Kanti Lata, all our associate deans. Our faculty advisors, without which none of this was possible, Dr. Vinod Nayak and Dr. Arvind Pandey, the faculty advisors of core council, and the various faculty advisors of all the committees. And yeah, I would like to thank my 12 council members <coughs> for their unwavering support and dedication. Thank you. I would now like to call on stage the Council of 2022-2023 to come on stage for a photo with our dignitaries. President Shivani Adav, Vice President Utkarsh Agarwal, General Secretary Amrita Bedi, Joint Secretary Anirudh Venkatesh, Judicial Secretary Madhav Aroda, Sports Secretary Chirag Bojwani, Cultural Secretary Shubra Murthy, Literary Secretary Kirti Gaur, Editor-in-Chief Shivika Saraugi, Finance Secretary Shitaj Sahi, SRF Secretary Vishnu Bharadwaj and the SWC Secretary Partika Agarwal. Thank you. Thank you, Ayushman, for your leadership and for rendering the Council's report. As we proceed, let us acknowledge the outstanding achievements of our third and final year students of MBBS. I invite Dr. Kantila Tapai, Associate Dean of KMC Manipal, to announce the prize winners. And to present the awards, may I request our beloved Dean, Dr. Padmaraj Hegde. Sir, please do the honors. Good evening, everybody. I'm pleased to announce the next set of undergraduate awards. To begin with, the third professional year. First, Ms. Navya Gupta. She stands first in community medicine in the third professional year, MBBS part one. First in community medicine in December 2023 examination, the prize endowed by the Department of Community Medicine, KMC Manipal.
Miss Navya Gupta also receives please stand Navya Navya Gupta also receives the certificate of merit for excellent academic performance in the third professional year MBBS held in December 2023 Next we have Mr Anirudh Rao stands first in third professional year he also receives an award donated by the medical students of the 2001-2002 batch of Kasturba Medical College Manipal for standing first in forensic medicine in third professional year in the loving memory of late Mr Saurabh Chandel a MBBS student of 2001-2002 batch he also receives the Kandaswamy ex professor of forensic medicine award for standing first in forensic medicine he also stands first in ophthalmology and receives a certificate of merit for excellent academic performance in the third professional year MBBS part 1 next up we have miss sai shriya yadavalli she stands first in ENT in the third professional year she also receives a certificate of merit for the excellent academic performance in third professional year next we have the certificates for excellence academic performance first we have miss isha tripathi miss nazneen hasin hasan miss tuti arora Mr. Raghav, Miss Bhavya Jain, Miss Thanvi Prabha Achanti. Miss Purvi Agarwal Miss Vedika Agarwal Next we move on to the awards for the third professional year MBBS part 2 We have Mr. Aniket Umesh he stands third in the third professional year MBBS part 2 university examinations held in February 2024. He stood first in pediatrics, certificate of merit for the excellent academic performance in the third professional year. Next, Miss Muskan. She stands first in the third professional year MBBS part 2 examination held in 24. TMAPI prize endowed by SP Amin of Nairobi, an old student of Kasturba Medical College for standing first in the third professional examination. Ms. Muskan also receives first in obstetrics and gynecology and the Bhagyamma Purushottam prize endowed by TA Purushottam of Chikballapur for standing first in obstetrics and gynecology. She also stands first in medicine, also receives the award in medicine uh, endowed by Dr. Susan Kurian in memory of late Dr. George Kurian Muthut, an old student of KMC Manipal. She also receives the Pawan Kumar Raghavan Memorial Gold Medal endowed by his parents for the best outgoing MBBS student of KMC in medicine and also the Certificate of Merit for the excellent academic performance in the third professional year, part two. The Certificate of Merit for the Excellent Academic e ex Performance, Mr. Varnan Srivastava. Ms. Arati Mohandas Korambit. Ms. Desai Kashish Mukesh. Mr. Abhinav Nehra Ms. Akriti Datta Ms. Divicha Sharma
Mr. Raj Parag Gohil. Congratulations to all the award winners. Thank you. Thank you, Madam and Sir. Moving on to the next set of awards, I now invite Dr. Shami Shastri, Professor and Head, Department of Immunohematology and Blood Transfusion, KMC Manipal, to announce the additional awards. May I request Dr. Avinash Shetty, Medical Superintendent, Kasurba Hospital, to present the awards. Good evening, everyone. I am pleased to announce the additional awards. Ms. Philomena Fernandez receives late Madhavra Memorial Award for the best Anganwadi worker in Udupi district for the year 2023. Mr. Vasan Pradeep Paneka receives Dr. R. Sitaram Memorial Award in urology for the undergraduate student of KMC Manipal and KMC Mangalore for the year 2023. Ms. Arushi Jasuja receives third place in Dr. Amit Bora Prize examination in psychiatry for the MBBS students of KMC Manipal for 2023. And Mr. Anirudh Rao receives second place in the Amit Bora examination. And this second prize is also shared by Ms. Janavi Mishra. And the first prize goes to Mr. Raghav. Mr. Abhinav Nehra receives Short Term Research Studentship Award of KMC for a randomized controlled trial and this, this is now published in a reputed journal. Coming to the most awaited sports awards, the best sportsman of the college for the year 2023 is Mr. Anirudh Venkatesh. Ms. Smriti Vemula is the best sportswoman of the college for the year 2023. And I am pleased to announce that Team KMC backed second best March Pass Contingents Award in the parade on Republic Day this year. I request Ms. Himanshi Sharma, the representative of the team, to come forward and receive the certificates. I also invite all the team members to come on the stage and have photograph with the dignitaries. Thank you. Congratulations to all the winners. Moving further, it is now time to appreciate the exceptionally exceptional students with the purpose of encouraging such students and an appreciation of the holistic achievements in their academic career. The Dean's Committee of KMC Manipal has set up a special set of awards called the Dean's Committee Awards. To give us more insights on the Dean's Committee Awards and to lead us further with it, May I now invite Dr. Krishnananda Prabhu, Associate Dean of KMC Manipal. May I request our Honorable Pro-Chancellor of MAHE, Dr. H.S. Balal, to hand over the awards to the winners.
Mahe and KMC believe in holistic development of students by providing opportunities to excel into co-curricular and extracurricular activities in addition to academics. To recognize these achievements, the Dean's Committee has instituted award for deserving students. The awardees for this year are Muhammad Saeed Anjuman for the year 2023, second professional year MBBS. Bhargavi Arora for the year 2023, second year MBBS. Navya Gupta, third professional year, part one. Arati Mohandas, third professional year, part two. Congratulations to all the awardees. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sirs. Over the years, our university has experienced remarkable growth propelled by the visionary leadership of our esteemed pro-chancellor, Dr. H.S. Ballal. His steadfast dedication and unwavering commitment have been instrumental in steering our institution towards excellence and distinction. Sir, may I request you to deliver the presidential address. Our chief guest of today's program, Mr. Harish Shah, his beloved wife is there, Bina Shah, my Vice Chancellor, Lieutenant General M.D. Vinktesh, <coughs> Pro Vice Chancellor of Health Sciences, Dr. Sharat Rao, other dignitaries on the days, my dear faculty members, invitees, and my dear students. I am very happy to be part of this College Day and Award Ceremony of Kasturba Medical College, Manipal, which we call as the flagship of our university. To the knowledge of our chief guest, we are running more than 25 institutions under the banner of uh, MAHE, and KMC is considered as the flagship of our uh, university, about which we are very, very proud of. It was the 29th medical college to be started in this country, first self-financing medical college, and today, we have more than 700 medical colleges in this country. And I am very happy and proud to say we are consistently ranked within the top 10 medical colleges. And Padmara Jagade has already quoted, this is what H.S. Ballal has said, so I am not going to repeat that. But we are able to maintain that level, which is quite difficult, and the entire credit should go to the quality of the faculty and the students that we have. Because in Mahe, <coughs> There is no other consideration for admission of our students or selection of the faculty and promotion of the faculty other than quality. Quality and quality. That we strongly feel is the reason for the reputation that we have built over a period of time. Now I was observing the, the winners of various prizes. My congratulations to all of them. I was telling Sharatra also. And you have observed, I'm sure, more than 95% of the <laughs> winners award is our girls, which is really very, very creditable. We talk about gender equity, this, that, and all, you know. And I am very happy and proud to say, tell, uh, inform our chief guest that we observe it very strictly and implement it practically. Because uh, our non-teaching staff, women are more in number than men. And even teaching staff, almost 50% are women. That obviously means we give a lot of importance to gender equity. See, our former president, Abdul Kalam, was once asked how we can make our country a developed country from a developing country. If that is to happen, it is very important that we should bring the girls into the mainstream. How do we do that? We bring them to the mainstream, educate them, and then give them proper training so that we will have a better country to live. 
So that's what we are seeing in our institutions. To my congratulations to all the girls, as well as the boys who have excelled in various activities, not only in sports, uh, academic activities, but in sports and games also. And also Sharatra was observing that even in that parades which we conduct in the Rep on the Republic Day and Independence Day, girls outnumber the boys as far as Kasturba Medical concerned, uh, college is concerned, which is really very, very creditable. And healthcare is very important. Our chief guest was telling me it's important that we should provide healthcare at affordable cost to the poorest of the poor. See, we make a lot of innovations, discoveries and other things. Unless it reaches the poorest of the poor, it has no meaning at all. So for that, may, to make that happen, we need money. And we need people like, uh, you know, Harisha, Binasha, you know, because we give a lot of uh, scholarships for the poor meritorious students, which we did just before we came here at MIT. He gave 60 scholarships, which will extend over a period of four years, 240 people to the poor meritorious students to get free education. And as I told you earlier, we have a policy in Mahe that we do not deny education and health care to the poorest of the poor. How we are doing that? Because of philanthropists like you. And you have set an example for others to emulate, which is very, very important. And our Vice Chancellor has mentioned a lot of things, how KMC has ranked high, research and developmental activities, they are excelling. So that's the reason it is considered as the, as, as the flagship and also one of the premier medical colleges in this country. And not only that, he predicted that in the near future, it will be within the top 100 medical colleges in the country, which I am sure with the dedication of the faculty, we will be able to achieve. And I promise you, we should be able to achieve that. And also, the, the, our chief guest was mentioning about public health. We should give a lot of importance because we always say prevention of disease is better than cure and much cheaper also. We have a very strong community medicine department and school of public health also, through which we do a lot of work, you know, to enlighten the people, to create awareness from the, amongst the people about protected water supply, immunization, immunization, and so many other things which can prevent diseases and also lead a normal life. And as far as our chief guest is concerned, he, he has supported us in this Access Life, which was inaugurated two years ago on our Founders Day, 30th of April in 2022. And as you, all of you know, this is basically to treat the small children with malignancy, cancer. We all know if cancer is detected in early stages and treated properly, it can be cured completely. And through this Access Life, which we did with your support, Harisha, so far, we have been able to, uh, more than 80 children got the benefit of this. And the family of the children also stay in the hospital and we give free cancer treatment, chemotherapy treatment. So all this is because of the philanthropic activities of people like Harish, Harisha and his wife, Binasha, you know, which I think deserves uh, a long, long round of applause, you know. Because he said uh, in, in the MIT scholarship, which we just announced before coming here, he said in future he is going to do more and more philanthropic activities because I said in our country there are a lot of rich people. But when it comes to uh, philanthropy, giving, you know, they just, you know, hesitate a little. But uh, with the, the initiative of Harisha and Binasha, I am sure more and more people will come forward so that we can do more and more philanthropic activities which will help the, the, to educate the younger generation as well as to provide the best healthcare facilities to our uh, future generation as well as the present generation. <coughs> See, all of us born in this planet have to die one day or the other. They say birth is an accident, death is a certainty. But in between birth and death, how you lead your life is very important. If you leave it for yourself and for your family, you will die and nobody will remember you. If you live for others, People of not only this generation, but future generation also will remember you. That's why Swami Vivekananda has said, those only live who live for others, rest are more dead than alive. Now, as far as Harisha and Binasha are concerned, they are living for others. And I tell you, people of this, not only this generation, future generation also will remember you and rest of your family. Then only it is worth uh, living. And I would like to thank on behalf of Mahi, both Harisha as well as uh, uh, Binasha, 
for their excellent philanthropic work both in the sec education sector and uh, health care and I said as I said earlier our friendship and relationship will should grow from strength to strength and I am sure both of us will facilitate that. With these few words I congratulate Kasturba Medical College Manipal especially Padmaraj Hegade our Vice Chancellor has set a very high target for you and I am sure under your leadership you should be able to live up to our, our expectations. I wish you all the very best. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you, sir, for the words of encouragement. Gratitude is the fairest blossom which springs from the soul. As we come to an end to this memorable occasion, I am reminded of this beautiful quote by Henry Ward Beecher, which encapsulates the essence of gratitude that permeates our hearts today. With this note, I request Dr. Anil K. Bhatt, Associate Dean, KMC Manipal, to propose the vote of thanks. Good evening, everyone. I would like to begin by placing our immense gratitude to our chief guest of today's annual function, Mr. Harisha. We are grateful for your time and presence, which has added great value to this occasion. We express our heartfelt gratitude to our dearest Pro-Chancellor, Dr. H.S. Balal, sir, for his continued inspiration. His sentiments and emotions for Mahe is always overwhelming and makes us feel proud of where we are today and also inspires us to do much more for our institution. The Mammoth University of Ars and its various institutes require strategy, precision, and a strong guiding force, which is what we see in our Vice Chancellor, Lieutenant General Dr. M.D. Venkatesh. We thank you for your gracious presence. KMC Manipal is the flagship institution of our university, and the captain of this ship is our pro-Vice Chancellor, Dr. Sharath K. Rao. We are indebted to serve for his guidance on every single day of the year to keep this flagship sailing ahead. Thank you, sir. We are indebted to our cooperation of our medical superintendent, Dr. Avina Shetty, in all the college matters. Thank you very much, sir. We truly appreciate the presence of all the board of trustees, university officials, previous deans, dean of KMC Mangalore, heads of the institution, heads of the department, faculty and students, on this momentous occasion. Mr. Harish, our KMC manager and KMC office staff have toiled for many days for this program to be held without any glitches. Also the faculty members of all the college day committees with special mention of awards committee led by Dr. Shami Shastri and her team, the student council and the student volunteers and all the logistical teams, especially the audiovisual and the state office who have put in a lot of effort we express a sincere appreciation to each one of you. A special thank you to Dr. Sushma, our Master of Ceremony, who always does a brilliant job to anchor the program, and to Dr. Shamala for our melodious invocation. We once again congratulate all the awardees and thank them and their parents for accepting our invitation and participating in this event. I hope all of you will enjoy the cultural program put up by our faculty and students after this program and the dinner which follows. Have a very good evening. Thank you. A heartfelt thanks to you too, sir. Dr. Anil Bhatt, being the chief coordinator of the College Day program, has taken immense efforts in weaving this entire program together. We have come to an end of the formal program. Kindly rise for the national anthem.
Thank you, everyone. May I request the audience to remain standing as the dignitaries leave the stage. Thank you everyone, we can remain seated. We will soon proceed towards the cultural program by the faculty and the students. By the time the stage is being set, we have a few quick announcements to make. Dinner for the students and parents will be served at the back of KMC Greens at 8.30 p.m. Dinner for the faculty and the dignitaries will be served at Dr. TMA Pai Hall 1, first floor at 8.30 p.m. Now it's time to embark on a captivating journey through the cultural extravaganza meticulously crafted by the talented students and esteemed faculty of KMC Manipal. So sit back, relax and immerse yourself in the enchanting performances that await. I will be signing off for now, handing the stage to the entertainment team. Thank you one and all. Have a great evening.
यादों के पुराने एल्बम में छुपा के रखे हैं हमने वो दिन मैं यादों का किस्सा खोलू तो मणिपाल के दोस्त बहुत याद आते हैं मैं गुजरे पल को सोचूं तो मणिपाल के दोस्त बहुत याद आते हैं अब जानिए कौन से नगरी में आप बाद है जाकर मुद्दत से मैं देर रात तक जागूं तो मणिपाल के दोस्त बहुत याद आते हैं वो दिन भी क्या दिन थे Hello buddy where are you these days I was missing my friends from Manipal so much can we have a reunion Manipal those words refresh me but yaar my son is going to US I have health issues how will I take out time for it but I will love to join. I'm coming. Let's have a reunion. Ya to ke purane album me chupa ke rakhe hain humne wo din gulak me padi chavanni si बचा के रखे है हमने वो दिन ना किसी मंजिल की फिक्र थी जिंदगी जीने की उम्र थी दोस्ती और दोस्तों से उधार के दिन थे वो दिन भी क्या दिन थे Do you remember the parties in Manipal? Yes. And do you remember Endpoint? Wow. wow. Yes. yes. Do you remember Dollops ka Manchurian and Snack Shack ka Potato Lover? Do you remember when the first time we had come to Manipal? <laughs> When we come to Manipal, we carry with us several emotions: emotion of homesickness, emotion of confusion, emotion of love, and emotion of laziness. बेल्ट खोस के अंदर अपनी शर्ट मंजिल को चली सवारी कंधों पे जिम्मेदारी Those were the 
Multicultural too. Do you remember Manipal used to have a college day celebration? I'm 
That was so good. Dollops used to be our adda, yar. You guys remember? We used to go for dinner every day. Lekin bill to bas ek hi banda pay karta tha. Waiter aata tha bill leke. Baaki sab rafu chakkar. Those were the best days of my life. Manipal is a place of mind over matter where resources are always there you just need willpower are kya bolte the yaar usko wo inter college cultural event utsav मधुबन में भले कान्हा किसी को पी से मिले मन में तो राधा के ही प्रेम के हैं फूल खिले किस लिए राधा जले किस लिए राधा जले न सोचे समझे किस लिए राधा जले किस लिए राधा जले
है बाला वो किसना है वो किसना है वो किसना है वो किसना है किसना है जो है अलबेला मद नैनो बाला जिसकी दीवाने बिज की हर बाला वो किसना है वो किसना है Oh, the ring god is fulfilling his duties beyond expectations. Ha ha ha! You clearly haven't met June to October here. It's like our version of water work.
this is not mauritius this is not goa this is manipal everyone please clap for him fail ho jata hai to bahut dukh hota hai par jab koi dost टॉप कर जाए ना ज्यादा दुख होता है All deities live in Manipal. Manipal connects all the elements of nature. Let us revisit those elements. Suvarna's journey, a melody divine. meets the arabian sea in an eternal line in manipal rain gods dance they shar a symphony a blessing in every chance In Manipal peacocks dance gracefully birds sing songs making the place lively In Manipal's skies, sun and moon play the tune. Day and night, a celestial commune. In Manipal's realm. Thunder's roar breaks the calm. Urban black spit black is the most song. And above all, Manipal is blessed by God of Wisdom. In Manipal's halls, where minds refine, Kasturba Medical College, a beacon of design. Blessed by the Wisdom Gods' guiding hand, students flourish across the land.